this is completely different from the psychic mediums I normally report on. This is something that was just given to me. I, I can't even, I can't even, it's, I've cut everything out of it that would give away the person's even first name, anything about her. Um, anytime she says anything, you can't hear, you can barely hear her saying anything, but this is audio because I've removed all the pictures. It's just a screen that you're going to see. You won't be able to see her. You will be able to see him. Make sure you stay till the very end of this video. It's long. I'm sorry. But you just can't believe this. It's somebody gave it to me. She told me that this woman is extremely upset. She was crying a lot. It was a, very emotional. She doesn't know what to think. Just, I guess she bought into all of it. Um, this is... I, I'm not even sure what to say, but this seems like a totally different thing from the world of the grief vampires, the psychic mediums I, I'm always talking about, but it is not much farther from it. It is a different method, but it's the same damn thing. Somebody's being preyed on. They're vulnerable for whatever reason. It's not talking to the dead. It's not wordplay. It is straight up victimization. Just straight up. So I'm not telling you the name of this person, either of them. Um, it is a, uh, you'll, you'll see. You, you can make your mind up. But uh, this person has a channel. They have, um, you know, 22,000 subscribers. His videos get thousands of views. He's on all the time. He's predicting things that are happening in the world. I'm looking at his videos. He's got videos talking about what's going on in the, in the Middle East and um, Ukraine and all these things he's predicting. He's got some, his, his intro videos got over a million views and it's only been up since 2020. Okay, I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to let you listen to this. I apologize that there's nothing to see, um, but you don't need to. Um, make sure you stay till the very end. Leave me your comments. See if you can come up with better words than I have, because I'm not sure I have any words for this. But do stay till the very end. Okay, how are you doing today? Okay, awesome. So let me verify your birth details. Yeah. So let's save your chat. Here it is. Okay, I have your chart in front of me. <clears throat> okay, how did you find me? Well, you're watching my videos, you said, right? So what brings you to here? Do you have any particular question where I start from? Or you want me to just generally read your chart and uh, see your strength? Yeah. And the reason is you have a Shrapit Dosha. This, you see Saturn and Rahu conjunct in your chart. I'm highlighting it on the screen. So Saturn and Rahu, it causes Shrapit. Shrapit means a curse in your chart. Shrapit Dosha. You see, here, look at my computer. They, Saturn and Rahu in the third house of your birth chart, they are sitting together expected by Ketu. So Rahu is the north node of the moon. Ketu is the south node of the moon. They are the shadow planets, which causes eclipse. So eclipse happening to your Saturn. Saturn is the planet of your karmas, planet of your destiny. And this is where the problem is in your chart. This is called curse, Shrapit Dosha in Vedic astrology. So when you have this in your chart, you will see that your relationship with siblings will be impacted. 
Anything you do is your self-efforts, your progression. You will find obstacles, challenges, and problems in your life. And then your ascendant lord, which is Mercury. You're born as a Virgo. Virgo is a rising when you were born. Mercury is the ascendant lord. Mercury is sitting with Ketu. It causes problem in your skin, problem in your health. And uh, expected by this particular problem, this dosha, will cause the chronic sickness, what you have already mentioned in your, in your email to me. So your, this is a problem in your chart. This is a bigger problem. And then this is a problem. Your ascendant lord sits with Ketu. It makes you spiritual also. It makes you isolated. It makes you a person who is more introvert, but it will impact your career. It will impact your health. It will impact your, uh, your, your higher education and learnings also in life because it's happening in the ninth house of your learning, your fortune. And then this curse is expecting this combination. So it is, it is causing the problem in your life. That's the reason what you feel is what you feel. So, so you need to fix this problem. How do I go about that? So we fix this problem using the tantric mantras. So tantric mantras are being chanted. There are 10 goddesses of tantra. So we will activate, invoke those goddesses to seek forgiveness. So you have to seek forgiveness for these, these you know, the curse you have. If you don't do it, then it will go into the next life. So, with you. so this is a major barrier in your life. This is a karmic curse, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Shrapit dosha is a major dosha. We call it Shrapit. Shrapit, shrapit means curse. Curse by the ancestors. Curse by something, what you have done in the past. And this causes the sudden problems, challenges in your life. It will break your relationships. It can do not allow you to progress in your life. You will see obstacles, change, you know, blockages. Hallucination also sometimes. Hallucination means that your mind will start showing you pictures. You know, you, you will start feeling that you're too much spiritual sometimes. It will give you uh, gains and then all of a sudden the gains will be taken away. So this is very much highs and lows of your life will continue. Okay. And your son, which is sitting in eighth house, you do have a strong, you know, connection with the philosophy, strong connection with spirituality, strong connection with astrology and tantra, tarot card. So you are there. Your son says that you should be working in the field of uh, pain management also. Like if you have been a nurse, if you have been somebody who is helping people, like being a massage therapist, you would have been literally been earning a good karmas in this life. But overall, if you don't remove it, then it will continue in the next life also with you. So again, I'm telling you the Vedic, the, the, the techniques what we use. We do the tantric I'm writing it here, Tantric Vidhi. Vidhi means a way. Tantric Vidhi Puja. So that is what my priest and I will be activating, initiating you. And we will do this chanting of mantras. There will be approximately 51,000 mantra chantings. And then there will be a Tantra Yajna. Yajna means the fire lab, the Homa. And you will get the videos of it. You will see that uh, the, my priest is doing that for you. It will continue for five to seven days. Okay, it's a long process. And then I will give you the mantra to chant at your homes. Okay, so process number one. First is we will do a puja for you. I need a picture of yours to fix this shrapit dosha in your chart. So suddenly you will see that the baggage is removed. In 21 days, you will see the difference. The baggage is removed. You're getting better in your health. Your obstacles, your mind is getting more clear once this is removed. And second process is after the puja, what the priest does, I will give you one mantra. That mantra you have to chant for 41 days continuously to get rid of this problem throughout your life. Okay? So this is a process. And for me to do this, I need one picture of yours. I need your father's name and I need your current address, where you live, so that we can activate the goddess of Tantra and send the, the, the blessings to you and remove this karmic problem through seeking forgiveness. Uh, yeah, Ketu in 9th house, see, loss of father is there, right? So it's okay. Uh, you can give your mother's name. So, you know, any any you know person who has uh, uh, helped you in upbringing. So we just need that name. You see Ketu in there, see, this is a problem in your chart. See, your, your, your Mercury is a prime minister of your chart. And you see Mercury sitting in ninth house with Ketu. And Ketu in the ninth house says, ninth is house of father. That this is the area where you will be having a problem 
not only father, your fortune is also at the problem because ninth house house is the house of fortune. So everything in your chart, your fortune is blocked, your father is blocked, your long distance journeys are blocked, and your higher education is also blocked. <clears throat> and that is why you suffer what you suffer. Yeah, once you remove it, you will have a good time. Right? See, your Rahu is the Dasha. You're going to the Rahu Dasha from 2018. Look at my computer. Look at my screen. Look at here. So you see the, the Rahu, which is a planet causing this dosha, this, this curse, is ruling you from 2018 till 2036. So it's going to be very, very hard time for you till 2036 if you don't remove it. <clears throat> so once you remove this problem and then start chanting the mantras, things will get much, much better in your life. Are you there? I am. Yeah. And that's the reason I'm recording it so that you can watch it again and see where the problem is. Let me see your past life also, D60. In D60 also you see in here. See, there's a karma problem. Saturn Ketu and then Rahu Mars, or they're all mutually expecting each other. This is a Shrapit Dosha again falling in your D60. This is a chart of your past life. This is something you did in the past life so drastically that you've been cursed in this life. And that's the reason you don't have a father and you've been struggling life and you now getting into the sickness and the challenges and the obstacles are coming in your way. It will continue if you don't remove it. It will go in the next life. So that's why you, you, you got this curse. Are you okay? It's okay. Don't worry. Relax. How, how many children you have? It can affect your children also, to be honest. I'm not going to give you a very clean picture here. It Because see, your Mars, the, the Lord of Fifth House is Saturn, and Saturn is sitting in Third House of the Curse. So your your planet, which is, which is your planet of children, is also, which is Saturn, it is also under the influence of the same problem, right? So Saturn, Rahu, they are very, very bad in your chart. So yes, it can pass to your children. You can see your next generation can have problems, mental issues sometimes. Um, it can be, it can lead to accidents and suicides also. So that's the reason it is a very major blemish. You should not carry it in your life throughout. Just remove it. And I'm glad that you met me. I can help you remove this. I have done it so many. As we talk, there are already pujas going on with so many clients who, who suffer from the same problem. Okay. How's your kids? How old are they? Okay. How are they doing in life? Yeah, see, it's 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 happening in the whole lineage, right? It's happening in your whole family, right? The 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 curse you have. <clears throat> and that's the reason the moment I opened your chart, I knew you are in a problem because this is a very major curse. I've seen many people struggling with that. And it should be it should be removed. And uh, and that's the reason, you know, you're connected with me. Maybe universe has guided you towards me through my videos that you should get it in the SAP. You will feel that the burden is gone, right? And, and that burden is what you're carrying is affecting your next generation also. So you will see things will get better. And then the mantra I will give you to chant, it will clean and erode all your sins, all your negative karmas. You will become so spiritual. You will become so enlightened. And you will see that the burden of all these negativity, the problem and challenges is all slowly, slowly getting dissolved. You need to do this. I I mean, I'm only a bridge here to help you and guide you, but it's you. After my tantric pujas, you have to, you know, dedicate your 41 days and just do the mantra chanting with the mala, with the rosary and, uh, and just do it. Again, I'm highlighting it here. This is a problem in your chart so that when you watch the recording, you understand it. This is a problem. And it is expecting your Mercury and Ketu, which is the president of your chart. And it is causing you the huge problems through fortune. Your fortune will never shine. Father, you already lost. And then your self-efforts will not pay you anything. And Saturn being the lord of your fifth house of children, your children will also be getting into this problem with you. And this is coming from your previous life. This is a chart of your previous life, D60. See all areas. And here is the problem. You see that, karma. So you did something which is now you're re repaying it. So your fruit is not good. 
but it's forgivable sin if you seek forgiveness because Jupiter is respecting your seventh house and your tenth house. Sorry, ninth house. It is. It you can if you seek forgiveness, you will get it. What I will do is I will give you the number of my assistant, Mini. I will email you that. You can reach out to her and send her your picture over WhatsApp. Do you use WhatsApp? WhatsApp or any uh, chat platform? Yeah. So download WhatsApp on your phone. It's easy. It's simple. It's free. So then you connect with my assistant and uh, you send me her, your picture and your mother's name, if you know that. And other information I have, we can do the puja for you. It costs roughly $2,000, I'm just telling you. Uh, but uh, you connect with my assistant and any discount she has to offer you, she will offer you. It's one time only. It's not like you have to pay it again and again. It's one time and then you will get the videos of the puja. You have to watch those videos so that you are also paying your, your prayers to the, to the goddess to remove this affliction. And then after this puja, I will talk to you over the phone. I'll give you the mantras to initiate you and then you have to chant that mantra for 41 days. You just need a rosary and a few more things like sandalwood powder. I will email you. You can buy it from Amazon. They're very cheap. But the rosary, you know, you can also find it from Amazon. Uh, and I'll tell you the process how to start chanting it. And then 41 days you have to do it. Continues. It's not happening today, but it's happening in your life throughout. I'm glad that you got to know now because if you would have died with this problem, it would have come to the next life also. No, oh, I know, but I'm sorry. I, I I don't intend to give you this, but this is what I see is what I'm telling you. And that's why I'm recording it so that you can see it again. You can even Google it if you want, but I'm giving you the right um, explanation of what is wrong in your chart and you need to fix it because unless you fix it, I cannot even go further and see what is your future holding. If this continues, your future is not going to be giving you anything uh, because this Dasha till 2036 is, is the final period of your life, right? So you need to fix this now. Otherwise, it will, it will go with you in the next life. And that's causing you the problem and causing your, your children also problem. Yeah. I will email you and I will send you the recording. I will email you. I will give the phone number. See, this is the phone number my assistant used, okay? The number I've called you from. So you call her here or just download WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a free application and then and communicate with her. And then if you want to talk to me, I will also call you on this from this number and we can talk. Okay. And then we need your picture to start the pujas. And then we'll start it. And then I will give you the initiation for one more mantra to chant. And I will stay with you for next 40, 41 days to make sure that you are on the track. And if you need any help, I'm always here to talk to you. Don't worry. I want to fix this problem in your chart and it, it needs to be fixed. You, you should not take it lightly, okay? No, there are many lives, you know, every, the soul keep migrating, right? So there's a transmigration of soul. When you die, your mind does not die. Your mind gets an astral body and that is your soul. And the, the mind looks for a new body, okay? And then based on your karmas, based on what you have done in this life, you get a new body. So some people who live the instinct of animals, they, 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 they die and they get an animal body, right? But if you're living as a human, you practice spirituality, you have a you know compassion in your heart, you are not like an animal instinct, like killing, murdering people, then you will definitely get a human body. But again, that human body also suffered, right? So the suffering is based on the karmas, what you have done in the life. So if you have done drastically wrong things, you have hurted someone, you have killed someone, you have done something miserably wrong, then in next life, you have to repay for this because this is what the theory of the karma is. What you saw is what shall you reap, right? I I understand it's too much for you. So let's do one thing. I can let's let's stop it here. I will send you this recording, and then you absorb everything, listen to the recording, and then when you're ready, call me back and or call my assistant and we'll start the puja. And then I'll talk to you one more time because you have not utilized your full time, 45 minutes. You still have 20 minutes. But as I said, I will give you one more reading uh, without charging you so that you I'm compensating for your time. So, OK. OK, so you, you can still talk to me over the phone. Call me. There's no problems and you don't have to pay anything. OK, Kathleen, take care. God bless. Don't worry. Just relax. OK, I, I will fix everything. Don't worry, but just fix it. OK. 
thank you for staying to the end of this. That is just, I, I'm speechless. Just to be clear, he, she gave him her birthday, the time of her birth, where she was born, all that nonsense, all that is gibberish on the screen, just gibberish. He's writing things on the screen, moving things around, circling things, writing things on it. It's just, you know what it is. So this consultation was free. But he wants $2,000 to remove the curse. 2000 US dollars to remove the curse. So frustrating. So frustrating. This happened today. In this world we live in. I can't even believe it. I cannot. I do believe it. I see it happen all the time, but just this way is so. I thank you guys for staying till the end. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys.